In my country, every bit of land that can possibly be used is cultivated. Uh, why in Britain has so much been neglected? Ah, and I suppose you expect me to answer that in five minutes. <laughs> well, here's an example that might give you some idea. Up in the fen country, there's an old derelict fen. All sorts of farmers have tried to cultivate it at one time or another, but they've all gone bankrupt because they couldn't produce the stuff at a competitive price. You can see abandoned farm buildings in many places. Just a dreary waste of waterlogged land, with the drainage ditches all choked with sedge and weed and grass. The government have taken it over. Already the water in the ditches is flowing. Ledges are clearing out the muck and men are siding and bottoming the ditches, making them clean and firm. Big caterpillar tractors work seven days a week, plowing, harrowing and drilling. It's magnificent black fennel and soil. Six months intensive work and over 900 acres will have been cleared, tilled and sown. Ultimately, 2,500 acres will bear fine crops of wheat, oats, barley, sugar beet, potatoes, beans and mustard. That's what big-scale organization can do. Mm. That's very interesting. Yeah, but I'd be more interested if you got on with your work instead of hanging around here asking awkward questions. <laughs> oh, come yeah. on, Strand. <laughs>